Hey y'all. Welcome back to another Uber story. Um please comment, like, subscribe, check out my Instagram, uh tip ten the zero five. Um I think last time I was telling y'all about this crazy weekend I was having. Uh let me put the windows up. Shit. <laughs> driving and holding the camera not a good mixture all right so um there was this time where i was driving at the beach of course because all the ratchet shit happens at the beach not all the ratchet shit but most of the time the ratchet shit happens at the beach so driving at the beach and um that was a crazy night really yeah that was a crazy night but i picked these people up from waffle house and um they had two stops so y'all know this was like back in the day because i usually don't do two stops but i picked that one up it was um a good surge and a good price so i picked that one up got to the first stop and it was the girl's stop so she got out so I'm guessing at some point on the way to this guy's stop, he decided that he wanted to fall asleep in the back of the car. And um, I think this was in, I think this was in the dark gray flex. Yeah, it was the dark gray flex because I had the um, cloth seats. The flex that I just had had the, um, the leather seats, but the one before that was the cloth seat. And that one was before I was taxi. So, anyways, he's then fell asleep. This mofo had his dirty feet on my ceiling, and it left like marks. It left his foot marks on the ceiling or whatever. But he back there sleep. I get to the stop, and I couldn't wake him up, y'all. I was like, oh my gosh, like, you got to get out of my car because, you know, I need to get to the next person. The good thing was it wasn't, like, crazy busy after I picked them up because it was, like, in the wee hours. You know, they had just came from the Waffle House, which means they went to the club first. You know, the, the bars, you know, closed at 2. So they had to get their ass out of the bar, go to Waffle House. So this probably was, like, around 4, 5 in the morning, but this is the time that I'm picking up the airport people. And, then, of course, I'm dropping them off at the beach, so I'm just like, look, you know, gotta get out so i can go get me one of these good airport rides you know that's back when uber was actually paying us some money uber don't pay shit now so you have to like pick and choose your rides and all that other stuff like that which if you guys are uber drivers and you're trying to figure out how i'd be finessing the system check out the instagram i give uh driving tips on there for fellow uber drivers or people who want to become uber drivers and then sometimes i give tips out to the riders too like letting you guys know what to do and what not to when you in our cars so you don't get these one stars from us because if you get in one stars that means that's less likely that you're gonna get a ride anyways um um and i explain all of that on instagram too but back to the story oh my god it was so hard to wake him up and i didn't want to touch him either i was just like <laughs> Ugh. like i don't want to touch this guy eventually i was able to wake him up but he still wasn't like all the way woke and i was just like you gotta you gotta go you know it's time for you to get out the car and so finally he got out the car but like i said when he got out i was just like disgusted because you got dirty footprints all over my um ceiling. And look, man, when y'all be in these Ubers, don't mess up the Uber. I'm talking about any little thing, and you gonna get that charge. He got the charge, y'all. Because, like, how else I'm supposed to clean my ceiling off? His dirty feet on my ceiling. Like, if you're gonna fall asleep, at least keep your feet on the ground. Like, why was your feet on my ceiling? But, yeah. I took pictures and everything, and I tried to, like, you know, wipe it off with my little Lysol wipes, but that shit wasn't working, because I need to still go get my, my other customers. Obviously, the other customers didn't notice, but I still sent them pictures into Uber, and I still got my um cleaning fee. I don't play about that shit. 
Like, I used to be the cool Uber and be like, hey, you know, y'all can eat and drink in here. Y'all can vape in here. No. If you're going to do it, make sure you don't leave no mess. Because the moment you spill something in this car, I don't care if it's one drop, I'm going to get that clean and feel about your ass. All right, friends. Hit me up on the IG. Laters.